everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. And this is my second Battle of the Pins video. I did this video back in 2016, in August of 2016, and it is one of my most popular videos. I did not know it would be a popular video, but people still commented on to this till this day. And I am going to revisit that. Some pins are still the same in here and some are new and I'm thinking about doing this whenever I get like a bunch of new pins and I'm liking them or I'm not liking them and kind of just keep them in mind. Um, so yeah, and what I want you guys to do, leave your comment and leave a comment whether or not you like the pin, a pin that I mentioned or you hate a pin that I mentioned. And if you have a favorite pin that I have not mentioned, list that down below because I love hearing about your favorite pins. You know, in the planner community, we all are very particular about our pins, but there are people who are not in the planner community who are particular about pins. And so I think it's a very universal video. So we're gonna get started. Okay, so I wrote already. I wrote everything down and let's... I'm doing manual focus because when I have to focus on a pin, it's hard to do it in auto. And so... I wrote everything down and I'm probably going to change the ISO because it's kind of washing out the paper. Um, but yeah, so what we have here is, let's do this, we have a Sharpie pen, there we go, sorry guys, okay we have a Sharpie pen in medium and it looks like this and I really like this pen. It's it's a pen I reach for all the time. I mean, I'm telling you, it's a pen that I constantly reach for. Whenever I go to the store, I buy backups. Like, I, I love this pen. So that's the medium. And then we have the Muji 3.5, which is a new pen in my collection. I, first off, I love the look of it. And this is what it looks like right here. And like I said, it's the 0.35. Um, Three, you get like a fine tip. So I love that pen. And then we have some Stadlers. I have a pack of Stadlers that look like this. And we have the numbers 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.8. I don't know if they make a 0 0.7, I mean 0 0.6 and 7. Um, you guys can let me know if they offer that. But they're all right here, okay? And I'm gonna tell you the ones that I reach for. The ones that I reach for the most are the five and the eight. And I'm gonna show you why. So I'm gonna show you all the tips. This is the zero, this is the 0 0.05. It is a very, very fine tip. The fact that it has zero after a zero is a very, very fine tip. And you'll see that when I show you the paper. So this is like, if you love a good fine tip pen, that's what you want to go for. And this is a 0 0.1, which is still a fine, fine tip pen. Let's which is still a fine tip pen. And then I'm going to go to 0 0.2, which looks like this. And then we're going to get to 0 0.3, which is in the middle. looks like that and then we're going to get to the 0 0.5 the one I always reach for right there and then the last one which is a great one in this collection is the 0 0.8 and as you can see it's it's a pretty big tip <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to get on to the Pilot G2. The Pilot G2 was in my last video, and it's still here. It's still here. This one is almost out of ink, but this is the Pilot G2 right there. It looks like this. And then we have the Uniball Signo 207. Somebody, a lot of people commented they love this pen, but they told me I should try the Oh my god, aluminum? Hell, I don't even remember. But it's, it reminded me, I was like, oh, that's a, color. that's a gray color. Excuse my ignorance. So that's the Uniball. And then I have the Papermate Flare. 
Paper May Flare is very popular in the planning community and it looks like this. It's like a fine tip marker pen. I love Paper May Flares. It's my favorite pens from Paper May. And then we have the Coletto pen. I forgot to tell you how I like these pens. Um, I like the Coletto pen barrel itself. I don't like the actual pen because I should have got the five or eight except for instead of the three. I got the three so it's very very fine tip. I feel like it wants to rip my paper so I don't use it a lot but yeah it's a 0 0.3 um, so I got this from Amazon and I have an unboxing of it. I'm gonna order like the 0 0.5 or if they have 0 0.8 order those but yeah I haven't used this a lot because I don't care for the actual pen. And lastly, pen gems. You guys are probably going to laugh at me like pen gems. I just like the way it writes. Like, I, I wanted to include it because it's a pen I really, really like. And so, yeah, and I forgot to talk about the Paper Made Flare. I love them. The Uniball is still here. The Pilot G2 is still here. So, obviously, I am still loving them. And so, I do want to zoom in and show you guys how these look. Now, my writing is not the best, okay? All right. So this is what, you know, they're looking like. And so this is the Sharpie pen. And then you can see how, you know, how wide the, the pen is. Then we have the Muji 3.5, Stadler 0 0.5, and you have all the ones, okay? Then there's the Pilot G2, Papermate Flare, which is very similar to the Sharpie pen. Uniball Signo 207, Coletto, and you can see how thin the Coletto writing is, and then the pen gem. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back on autofocus and move all of these pens over here. All right, so now we gotta do the battle of the pens. We gotta figure out, we gotta narrow it down. And so we can see which one is my favorite. This is the part I love. It's the now, it's the battle. We've introduced the pens. Let's figure out which ones win. So we already know right off the bat, Coletto's getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Coletto is getting out of here just for the simple fact that I don't like the 0 0.3. And I've come to learn that I don't like anything below 0 0.5. Um, so 0 point, I mean, it's gotta go. I like Coletto, I, I wanna use you, but now I gotta order some different ones. So Coletto pen is out, automatically eliminated. Okay, so the 0 0.05 the 0 0.01 and the, I mean 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Um, like these first two, I, I can't get with just because they're such a fine tip. And I do want to probably show them together to show there's a difference. There's 0 0.1 and 0 0.05. And let's put this over here. There is a slight difference. It's a slight difference on these. Um, as you can see right here, the 0 0.05. There's not much of a difference for me. To me, it's just too fine of a tip. Um, but I will tell you this, if I need to write a lot and I need to get like a few words on one line in my planner, I will use a fine tip because it's going to give me a small, a very, very thin line. And where'd that pin go? So we're going to eliminate the 0 0.05. And the, 0 point, um, and the 0 0.1. We're just gonna eliminate those, but the next four are still in the running. Um, oh, and 0 0.3, yes, so the three. Those are being eliminated, but we are keeping 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 in because, you know, so, oh no, it's four, not three. Oh my God, half the pack, over half the pack is gone. So we're keeping 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 in. Okay, so I'm just gonna take these out so it's not confusing. Okay. So we got the Sharpie pen, the Sharpie pen is in, the Sharpie pen is in, we got the Stadlers, all right? The Muji pen, even though this is a 0 0.35, I, I, it doesn't do, I'm, I'm assuming the five makes a difference because this is 0 0.3, 0 0.35, and if we look at the Muji for the 0 0.35, and then we look at the Coletto, like, let's fold this up so it can make some sense. 
Okay, we got Muji. All right, right here in Coletto. So that five is, I mean, it's gotta be a difference. I really like the Muji pen. Um, I ordered these on Wish. I have three of them. There's one in my purse and two in my desk. So we're gonna keep that in with there. So Paper Mate Flare, I really like the pen, but I haven't touched it in, a, in, a, in like more than a couple of months. So it's not fair to leave it in here. I like the pen. It's not, it's not something I'm reaching for though. So we're gonna eliminate that. So we have the Pilot G2 left, the Uniball Signo 207, and pen gems. Now Pilot G2 is still a pen that I reach for a lot. It's, like, it's one of those pens like I have to buy like a full pack of them because I use them so much. I probably have about five, or, five to seven in my collection and this one is almost out of ink which proves that I use it a lot. So Pilot G2 is still in the game. The Uniball Signo, I like it, I'm just not using it. Someone, it's a, there's a, I gotta remember what it is. There's another Uniball one that someone told me to try. I'm gonna try that out because I've run out and got pens before. Um, so I'm just gonna eliminate Uniball Signo, okay? Then we have pen gems. I like pen gems. It's a ballpoint pen. I like pen gems. But is it worthy of being in here with these pens? I don't think so. And that, that's not to say it's a bad pen. It's, I don't think it's worthy to be in here. So we're going to eliminate it just for the sake of not, it's sort of in the middle. So now we got five pens, okay? We got five pens that we gotta, we gotta narrow it down. So, Pilot, okay, we got Pilot G2. This is the only ballpoint pen that is in this um, situation. So it is by itself a little bit, okay? Then we got the Muji 3.5, 0.35, and the Sharpie Medium, and then we have the Stadlers. The Stadler and the Sharpie are the same type of ink. But when it comes to these three, I'm going to automatically eliminate the 0.5 just because these write very similar to me. So these are over here and we're gonna keep Muji in. So now we're down to four. We are down to four and we gotta, we gotta narrow it down now. We gotta narrow it down, we're getting there. Um, if it's a pen that I'm reaching for, that I'm reaching for all the time, okay? It's gonna be these two. I love how they write. So we're gonna eliminate the Pilot G2. The only reason we're eliminating the Pilot G2 is because I use it when I need to scribble some things down when I'm at my other desk. And so it's not really a pen I reach for when I'm writing in my planner or when I'm writing to-do list to put in my planner. It's, it's just one of those things where it's in my other drawer and it's a pen I reach for when I'm in my drawer. But when it comes to planning and getting shit done, I don't use this pen. So we're gonna eliminate it based on principle. We're down to these now. All right, so it's very hard for me to choose out of these just for the simple fact that I love all three of them. These write similar, and this one is a fine tip. So when it comes to what I reach the most out of these three, it is going to be the Sharpie. It is, it's gonna be the Sharpie, and then second would be the Stadler Pigment Liner, and then the Muji. Okay, so my favorite out of all of these is the Sharpie pen. It's crazy. I, I actually remember what my favorite pen was. I'm gonna link that video down below and figure out what my favorite pen was and see how different it is. But yeah, you don't have to agree with me. It's perfectly fine. If, you, if you're a pen fanatic, please, you know, please tell me what pen I should try as long as it's not um, the ink, we might put the ink in it. Like, I'm not here for that. But this is the pen that I reach for. I just, it's, it's on my desk. I don't feel the need to go reach for another pen. It's just something that I reach for. Not to say I don't reach for any of the pens that I mentioned, but when I'm like, oh, let me plant, this is the pen that I reach for and I absolutely love it. So it was hard to narrow it down because I like them all for different reasons. But the Sharpie pen and the medium, give me all of them. So this was a fun video to film. I really, really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Let me know your favorite pen. Let me know your most hated pen. And if you're not subscribed, do that. And I will see you all next time. Bye.